I believe that is a bug. Yo! <laughs> oh man, Pokemon trainer. Anyway, what's up, bug? How you doing? Yeah, not much. How's it with you guys? Oh, not much. Just sitting here with Mr. EX Polyjukes. Look, I'm much better uh, this week. Uh, I have not had a neighbor come up to me at 11 o'clock at night uh, with a thick axe. Um, so I'd say that's a win. Yeah, look, I, I, you got to take the positives in life. And right, yeah. hmm. Not being attacked with pickaxe is one of them. I think so. Hmm. Do you want me to create the lounge heart? Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, very, very good. All right. Um, just the usual first to two. Uh, character select on. Uh, password protected. Eight people. Or should we keep it to four people? No, we're four people. Can we can make it five. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. It's, it's another open kind of night anyway, so... Oh, we didn't really discuss how we're going to close. We're not on stream, are we? No. Oh, we are? Oh, well, congratulations to us. Hooray! Oh, no. Can they, can they hear you, Heart? Uh, okay, oh. so, well... Uh... This, is this is zero LP, or are we in LP for you? Apologies. Oh, I'll just uh, on it message. You'll kick yourself. Just my name. Um. That's <laughs> all right. Well, like, is wait just quickly, hard before we do the hellos. Is this like actually LP for you live? Well, hello everybody! <laughs> Another well organized, well thought out, well put together plan for LP for you. We've got myself here, LLL. We have Mr. Polyjukes. Hey! And we also have Bug. What up, homies? Alright. So, uh, today, uh, again, because we're waiting for uh, AE to drop, we're not doing anything character specific. We're going to be focusing on how you, yes, you, viewer, listener out there, that you, what you can do to get yourself better. I'm sorry, are you talking about you? Yeah, I was talking about you. You. You right there. Me? No, no. Uh, that guy right there. That guy right there. Yeah. Like Regis Thorn? Yeah, like, like Regis Thorn. Tame. Like Tame. You, Tame. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All, right. All those people in the chat, come say hi. Um, and we have none other than Bug, as I said earlier, to come help us, uh, you know, figure out what we can do or what you can do to help yourself get better. That real self-teaching or uh, self-analyzing things so you can get back into your next match and uh, just start your self-improvement train. Isn't that right, Pug? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's all prepared, you can tell. Can't yes. Oh, I've, um, got a, I've got a document here to discuss some interesting topics with all you fellas out there. So, oh, fantastic. Ahead. Yeah. Precisely one more document than what we've actually created. This, uh, <laughs> fantastic. That's 100% more documentation. What do you reckon we just play a couple of games for the ball rolling and then bring in... Um, say one or two fledglings you can play yeah so LLL, i i wanted bug, and then uh, I'll sure. pull out a fledgling or two. sure uh well, i just want to have a chat to bug first um yep. uh, but before we do that one thing we're going to do today guys uh this is for the people all who stream monsters out there is we have a bucket load of uh red bull uh codes to give away 
So what we're going to do is we're going to pay attention to the chat. And if you have a good idea or a piece, good piece of advice, give that out in the chat. And if we think it's a, like a really good idea or a good piece of advice, we'll chuck a Red Bull can code your way. We'll just uh, shoot your message in the Twitch, not in the Twitch, in the Team WP Discord. Um, and we'll give you that code for you. you Sounds drink, great. You've been drinking a lot of Red I've Bull. I've been drinking a lot of Red Bull. Yeah. And uh, so has our good friend Statix, um, who's helped me. With the Statix or Scythe, was it? Was it Scythe? Oh, it might have been Scythe. I apologize if it was Scythe. I'm not very. It's like, one of them. It's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Scythe. It was, it was definitely Scythe. <laughs> I apologize, Scythe. Love you a long time, Statix. <laughs> good job. Um, anyway, so, um, let's get Bug in here, we'll play, and, uh, we'll have a chat. So, Bug, you said you had a, a notebook ready to go? What, yep. What's, what's the goss? Well, basically, it's, uh, you know, what you can do to actually get better at this game. Um, yeah. like, I got, like, a bunch of dot points here. But the main, the main four ones is probably learning the importance of four, uh, frame data. And yeah. like trying to improve as you're playing the game, so making sure you focus mm. on what you're doing and how to actually use your lap time effectively and not stick around doing sick combos and do anything for you. Yeah, right. Okay, so those are some things that we can really, really uh, work on expanding on. So, uh, the first thing you were talking about was frame data. Yeah, um, it's like so um, the mm. biggest thing with that is like. Uh, what does it mean, right? Because a lot of people say, like, I can't memorize all that, all those numbers, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And it's like, you don't really, you don't really need to. It's more of a just, uh, what does it mean for you? Uh, like, positives, like, what you should be locked, right? Positives, bad. Yeah. Negative, like, it's your turn, but, like, you got to look at, you know, what, what do you do with your turn? So. Yeah, right. And, like, Another great thing about frame data is you get to see what you can do for block strings. Yeah. Um, no, that's a, that's a really good point. Understanding um, when's your turn, understanding when you should be pressing buttons, super duper important. Um, starting to realize that Street Fighter is technically, in a way, a turn-based game. Yeah, I'd say it, would, it is like that. Like, you got to recognize when it's your turn and how you can steal turns to get the momentum and win. Ah, stealing turns. Now that that's a really interesting concept. Um, cool. Do you want to explain what you mean by stealing turns a little bit? Okay, like one of my favorite ways to steal a turn is um, you do something that's negative two, and then uh, straight away just DP. Like uh, <laughs> right. they can't do anything about that. It's your turn again. You get the setup from the DP. Yeah, right. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Um, one of the things I saw. Um, uh, I was watching Sanjan, who does some really good analysis of, like, uh, high-level tournament play. So if anyone wants to learn a lot about their character, or, um, just get a deeper understanding of how the high-level players play, watch Sanjan and, uh, his match analysis. But anyway, one of the things he was saying was, I don't remember who it was, but it was, um... Uh, what's his name? Punk. And the Abigail player. And what Punk did was he got into a nice rhythm with Cool Kid going back and forwards. It's my turn to press a button, it's your turn to press a button. It's my turn to press a button, it's your turn to press a button. Punk noticed that and um, he took advantage of that rhythm and was able to steal a turn that way. Yeah. So. It's definitely great to do. Like, uh, you gotta recognize, like, when it's your turn, like, a lot of the time I'll play, right? And, um, you'll see a player not understand that they're meant to press a button after that. So, yeah, right. you kind of just use that. You just say, okay, they didn't know that they could press a button there, so I'm going to start abusing them for it. Yeah, right. No, that, that's a really good point, again, is that understanding when it is your turn to press that button, take your turn, otherwise... You're, like, that's my problem with, uh, like, when I'm playing against a Rashid or a Bison. I don't know what to, when I should be pressing that button. I ended up just getting steamrolled by their ridiculous false pressure. Yeah. But, yeah, like, 
it's good to say about frame data and stuff like that, but there's also like, uh, with a character like Bison, there's spacing to take into account. It's like, yeah, right. um, it, it, it is your turn, but you literally have no buttons you can press to take your turn. And the button you can right. press that will reach, their button is quicker than yours. So, yeah. You do have to take into account, like, how far away you're spaced in order to actually take your turn properly. Like, all of the time, it's like, someone will do something that's, like, punishable by a 3 frame. But, yeah, right. Uh, you can't actually use your 3 frame in that distance, so then you, you have to try and figure out, alright, what's my best sort of button to take advantage of. Yeah, so, like, um, I guess that, like, uh, what's his name, Thorough can use dash punch, even oh, though it's, like, minus yeah. 4. Perfect example. You can't, you can't press a button. Oh my god, bug. Stop, stop. Please, okay. stop. <laughs> no, I don't actually mean stop. Keep going, stop. Anyway, alright, so, um... Yeah, as we were saying, the frame data can be a bit intimidating to movies at first. So, um, again, there's a lot of numbers and people feel like, you know, they have to remember the, those numbers. Oh, bug, you two things. <laughs> um, so, what would you say is like just a good starting point for figuring out frame data? Because obviously you don't need to know everything straight away. What would be like something that you think is a really good point to go, all right, I need to learn framing the data. I'll just learn these <laughs> little bits. Oh, that's a running of what I did in the in the beta with Nikali. Basically, my strategy was uh, I found out my fastest button, which with yeah. Nikali was very convenient that I was both crouching and standing, the light punch, right? Yeah, so right. <laughs> you basically just, can I press light punch after this? Yes? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to press a light punch. Then you sort of like, you start to realize, oh, I could press medium punch here. It's even better than I thought. So you kind of just, yeah, right. you have to learn when to just, just try and challenge things. You'll find out the hard way, I'm sure. But you can, like, once you understand a bit more of the game, you can just look at it and just be like, oh, okay, this is the button I should be pressing because, yeah, it's just more optimal. Like, yeah. Yeah, right. So, yeah, so just uh, understanding of uh, your fastest button and then building up from there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, cool. It's probably like yeah, your fastest button and then your, your furthest reaching button. And that's yep. probably the the two to go to. Cool. All right. Um, your second point. What was that? That's uh playing the game while improving. So it's like uh, a big thing that I like to do is like you'll chuck on ranked and you'll just search for matches and like you know ranked is kind of good and bad in the sense that like each match it can be a couple of minutes wait in between, so... Yeah, right. You can have a chance to just, um... Like, you lose in a match, you lose something in a match, you get salty. You're like, okay, yeah. uh... Let's, let's drill that in training mode three times before the next match and make sure not to mess that up again. Like, it's, yeah, a, right. it's a really good thing to do. Just to, as you're playing, you're trying to improve. You're keeping your, your mind clear to what you can do better next time. And, yeah, work towards it. It gives you a real good chance for reflection. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I guess that brings up um, how do you train mode effectively, which is your third point. Yeah. And that, that's like, basically you'll find a situation in the game that's very annoying. Like for example, when Karen, I think, have left a fair bit, is how to deal yeah. with her just spamming her light kick. What are, what yeah, are your right. perceptions to, to stop that? Okay, so... When um, you say you find your situations, you're talking about like you don't go into training mode and you don't just practice that one super cool combo which does 600 damage or yeah. something ridiculous. Because that's not really practical. I mean, it looks cool and you might get it off like maybe once or twice every fifth or sixth game. Like for a team there's no point, or maybe there's a little bit of a point. But uh, learning like 50,000 demon setups and how to do a dashing raging demon or like a parry demon. Like, yeah. Like the, the main thing you should be working on is like the neutral. 
It's yeah. like, what can you do in the neutral, and then how can you convert that to get a lot of damage from it, right? Like, there's no point okay. me as an Ibuki player, like, I didn't start out and just be like, alright, what's these sick, sick resets I can go for? Like, there's no point if you, can, you can't actually land that in a match. You gotta realize, what can I land in a match, and then how can I get a reset off that? Yeah, right. So, so consistency, basically. Go for consistency. Yeah, you can you can be very even consistent. If, even if it's lower damage. Yeah, like the, uh, for example, like I can get a lot of really cool setups from um, crushing heavy punch. But the only time I really ever get to land that is like if uh, I've summed them. So <laughs> there's not much point yeah. labbing, even though I can do some really cool shit. There's not much point doing it. Yeah, right. So yeah, so, you just. You just do the yeah. situations that you see in a match, like... What can you do in those situations in a match? Um, and what are your options? So, it, yeah, it really helps. So, alright, so... What, right, so there's situations that are character-specific. Like, oh, uh, what to do in a carrying match, obviously, or what to do in a carrying match as a Buki. Like, those are some very specific things, but... There is general things that you want to be doing with every character, right? Yeah, like pretty much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just DP it. All right, you want to? I should not do that. <laughs> I'll just do this. Yeah, that work. <laughs> <laughs> it's the stage. It's the stage. Oh, I fell sick. Oh. <laughs> 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 But yeah, like, there's a lot of situations in the game, like, how do you deal with sweeps is the most common answer is just to sweep them back. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you just gotta work out the general strategy, I, I suppose, of your character. Like, as a Buki, I kind of just want to be, like, playing a bit like Crouch on Mini Kick, stay away from me, Crouch on Mini Punch, anti-airs, throw kunais, keep you in check, stop you doing stuff. And yeah, then... Right. Yeah, you go from there, like the matchups up, like Karen will be trying to go for particular things so you can look out to it and what you do to counter it. Alright, you know I'm gonna land this trigger, right? Yes. It's coming. Yeah, every time. Oh, what? What? Oh, oh. oh God, I. <laughs> I'm playing on still. Oh, that's wow. the same for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do a V reversal, I could jump here. <laughs> um. Oh, sometimes I get that if I'm like, you know, sitting down kind of wonky and like my stick's like slanted and I'm not realized. Let's just say that's what was happening. Nothing to do with the uh, anything else. So uh, I think um, with all that you guys have been talking about, we'd like to implement some of that stuff with some fledgling tonight. So yeah. So when you guys are ready, was there any more points you want to talk to talk about, Bob? Uh, yeah. I I want to talk about like um. Basically, like, fledgling's like new players, so the, the biggest mm. tip I can give for a new player is uh, you, you want to anti-air, but it's not so much to anti-air someone, it's not so much like uh, stopping them jumping every time, like you respond with a button press or something. It's more um, situational awareness where you can realize that you're in a really shitty spot and you're about to, like, if he jumps at you, you're, you're kind of just screwed. So it's, it's probably better to realize those are bad situations rather than got in the head like, I got to anti I got to anti It's more just don't stand in the spot where I can't anti air and I get steamrolled rather than trying to just focus on something you can't do. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, okay. And so, just uh, look out for punishes, yeah. really. <laughs> just uh, being aware of what uh, your opponent can do in the space that you've provided them. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Mm. It's like, yeah. um, yeah, like, if you're standing full screen, you got to realize that, you know, probably most characters have an option. They got they can do something. Mm. Like, if you're facing even, like, Abigail, he can just start full screen running at you. <laughs> yeah. So, it's, it's really important to, like, realize what your options are and what your opponent's options are. And then you can start, you know, playing mind games and stuff from there and having your whole turn swapping thing. Yeah, right. I don't remember who it was. I don't remember who it was, but someone said um, it was to do with the character that had a bad anti-air, and the answer to not being able to anti-air was just don't be there. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like great advice. Like uh, some characters just it's a, a fault in their game plan where they uh, they can't anti air on purpose. Yeah. It's like the character would be too strong if they could just command that space. So yeah, you gotta realize your character can't do that. Play around it. Uh, do you wanna maybe who wants to play Scythe first? Uh, we should get Scythe on the mic, and, uh... Yeah, I'm here. Alright, Scythe, who do you want to play? I don't care, whoever. No, no, this this is your two sets, my friend. Surprise me, I don't care. Whoever's i I'll just go Bug first, he's at the top. Oh, Alright, oh, okay. Okay, good. Alright. Okay. I'll jump back. So, I, I, I envisioned that uh, anything that we would like Scythe to... Uh, or Scythe himself would like to train in the lab as, as if he would, we'll have to do with Bug or ourselves. Mm. Because of... So... Capcom's oh, not right. very good online <laughs> training mode. Non-existent yeah. anyway. Well, like, we just had... We're having Arcade Edition um, in a couple of weeks, so... That, that's a thing, but... I think online training mode, didn't that come in in uh, Ultra? So... We'll probably expect that it? in a year or two. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh boy. Alright, uh, Scythe, is there anything that you feel like you're lacking in your gameplay? Anything that you want to really work on? Um, well my yeah. NES are shocking, but uh, yeah. I don't know, i got to figure out some some other things. Just, just kind of actually kind of figuring out a game plan for each character and then actually sticking to it. Really interesting thing to work on with Prin actually, because she has a lot of options to... Um, to do with jump in, mm. or potential jump in, you know, where she's standing on the stage, the ground game. Like, uh, I think Karen's got like a very like similar walk speed to Ibuki, and like a lot of the time, like uh, at certain spacings, I'll just um, you know walk around them and get a trip guard punish rather than actually like try and press a button for an anti. So I think like that's that's what you should do, like with Karen a lot. It's just walk around. Um, like, around here, like, yeah, see that, like, instead of getting a jab, you should try and, like, optimize that and be like, you could probably get a crashing medium punch into a full punish. Because that was a trip guard punish, I was blocking when I landed. But you walked around me and just jabbed me. I was like, you could easily, like, maximize that. So, what do you mean by trip guard? Okay, so if you press a button while you're jumping in the air, there's a, there's a full frame window when you land where you, c you get punished basically, like you can't press a button and you're vulnerable. Right. So if you time, so like you get the trip card, you know what's going to happen? You can go for like a 9 or a 10 frame button even if you wanted. Because you've got, you just have to time that full frame window to make sure it overlaps with one of your active frames. So, you yeah. know, it's really a strong yeah, right. tool for a character that can walk a lot. I don't think Birdie would bother trying to do it, but someone like Karen or Ibuki, like definitely. Hey, on it. Fast walk speed. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, Bug, in the Twitch chat, Billy Bruce is asking, can you show us how pushback tech works? Pushback? Uh, what's that? Uh, he said, show us how pushback tech works. Pushback tech? Hmm, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> uh, neither am I. I was hoping you would know. <laughs> um,. Billy. So what, where's the chat exactly, so I can... Uh, uh... It's just the Twitch chat. Okay, I'll have to open up a tab in a bit. Mm. But look. So... Um... Scythe. How did oh. you feel you went in that match there? Pretty bad. <laughs> Alright, but... <laughs> Alright, so why pretty bad? What? Obviously... Uh, was... Got by. Just getting... Pressured, my spacing's not right. Yeah. Like, I think one thing, uh, you're Karen, like, as I'm playing you, um, you're scared to walk forward a lot. Like, like one of Karen's greatest strengths is you can walk forward and get pressure, basically, just by walking forward. But it, you, you kind of just back off a lot of the time and just stand there and wait for me. It's never good to let your opponent set the pace, unless, like, the matchup absolutely demands it. Yeah, right. So when you say walk forward, you don't mean just walk forward. Oh yeah, just just, just straight look like like then I just walk forward, no fear, grab. Like you gotta like yeah. 
you gotta walk forward to pressure your opponent. If you're always just standing and like you can't really move around with specials too much in Street Fighter Five. It's very movement based. Yeah, right. Okay, so just um, walk forward, watch what your opponent does, and make decisions uh, from the future based on that. Yeah, it's it's like when I was going back to like the turn thing. It's like uh, yeah. if you see that they're not taking their turn when you press a button, just you can start walking forward a bit. It's like not that risky, but it starts putting pressure on your turn. Yeah, right. Like we're sitting here in neutral, I'm kind of hesitant right now because like Karen's a V trigger and go to critical yeah. art. So I'm not going to walk forward too much. That's when Karen has a lot of chance to start gaining space on me. Yeah, right. Ooh, big DP. Uh, that was a terrible DP. Like, <laughs> I, was, I, I, I saw that DP coming from a mile away. Yeah. Sometimes you have to do the obvious DP to sort of tell your opponent that you, you will do the obvious DP so they have to respect it sometimes. Yeah. I think that's something um, ROF was saying last week is um, just doing things to show your opponent that you're willing to do it Gives them something else to think about when, um, yeah, when yeah, exactly. Fighting. So that, yeah, if just give them something to think about, make them hesitate that little bit longer, make them not want to jump in, make them not want to do that meaty. Um, you know, you don't have to do it all the time. Just giving them something else to think about. Yeah, like it's like mind games. Like a lot of the mm. time, a lot of people I see they start on level two or three, which is like basically, uh, say Ibuki, um, her V skill gets beaten by jump ins. So yeah. at the start of the match, I'll be like, okay, I'm not going to V-skill because they're going to jump at me. So then, like, I've already drawn this conclusion in my head where it's like, yeah, right. it's really stupid to do that. You should be like, okay, I'm going to start V-skilling at the start. I'm going to play my game and then we'll, we'll build from there. We'll make sure that they're following with the mind games instead of just, like, immediately ruling something out in your head even because there's an option to beat it. You got to, like... Yeah, right. Yeah, like, you got to DP first to show them you're going to DP there. You got to... You got to do the, the option you want to do to start the mind game you want to do. You can't just start on level two and just try and beat him from that. You got to be like, this is my character. This is what I do. And then you go from there. Okay. Um, right. Was there anything that Scythe felt he needs, uh, he needs to work on against Ibuki? Um, what were you struggling with Scythe there? Uh, Still not sure about spacing and what button I should actually be trying to press because in what situation? Just generally in neutral. Well, just in neutral. Like, um, I feel like Abuki's got really good buttons against Karen. Um, are you? What are you scared of? What buttons are you scared of? Um, uh, I don't remember which ones they are, but like oh, the. Like I think V-Skill's a really big one in that matchup. Yeah. And yeah, and Mubuki's V-Skill beats Karen's like just straight up. It's a better version of it because of the well, pullback. Do you want to do do both play again? Yeah. So you can go back there, L. Um, I just want to... I just want Bug to hit... How many versions of the V-Skill are there? How many... How many Three levels. levels. There? Well, no, there's, there's two. It's like... Two. Uh, Basically, there's a charge one, then oh, well, I suppose this right. There's charge, uncharge, and then you can kind of charge it halfway and then release it, but it's still level one, if that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, one of the interesting things about Vuki's V skill is that you can you can interrupt it on reaction if they're charging it. Yeah. Um, and maybe there's two things. Maybe we can work on with Scythe how to interrupt it. Or what to do, maybe as a whiff punish, and where to stand, no, how far away. You know I mean? It's it's kind of it's very hard to whiff punish it, but um, you can a lot of the time a good way to beat it is like you jump, or if you want to take a little bit less risk than a jump, uh, what you can do is you can do like a light followed by a heavy, which is a very like unsafe thing to do. But if, if you're anticipating the V skill. Um, it, it goes far enough to interrupt me before it like comes out because like lights don't have much pushback. Yeah, right. 
a lot of the time I'm just sitting there waiting for my chance to press it. <laughs> <laughs> well, her curve blocks retract, right? Yeah, that's yeah. like the, the main strength of it. Otherwise it'd be like, kind of... It's not a very good poke, because it's a bit risky. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That was cool. So, I... Bug, can you just use a lot, like, just focus on using V-Skill a bit more? Yeah, sure. A lot of time it's setups, like, uh, I'll land that, then V-Skill. Yeah. So, splits, V-Skill. Jab, V-Skill. Yeah, uh, another good one's a crouch, crouch medium kick, V-Skill. Yeah, right. Yeah, Visco is a very strong tool. <laughs> it's like uh, yeah. it's kind of similar to Birdie's Bullhorn, which I think everyone went up in arms with uh, after seeing Capron Cop. But it's just like yeah. a safer, better version, really. <laughs> it is minus two on block when it's charged, but I feel like it is enough pushback or distance to yeah. make it hard to even. Um, yeah, you can't really do anything about it. Yeah. Um, like it also has like five or six active frames. So, yeah. like, it can be plus as well if it doesn't connect fully. So, yeah, um... Like, I think that's just the thing in this matchup that's like, makes it kind of in Ibuki's favor. Is like, Karen's one of her greatest strengths is staggering her buttons to try and like, extend her pressure and steal more turns. But, um, Ibuki can just stop that like, straight away with V-Skill. Yeah, right. Oof. I remember uh, it was a while ago when we were playing Bug, uh, you just would go B skill, heavy kick, B skill, heavy kick. Um, until I realized I could use my V skill to counter your V skill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but then you realized that you could use your V skill to counter my V skill, countering your V skill. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that was mind blowing to me. Well, that's like. Going to what I was saying before with like the, the mind games is like, that's my level one, right? I'm gonna do that yeah. and be skill. Can you do anything about that? You know, if not, I'm gonna just do it all day. Yeah. And then, yeah, you just build up from there. Ooh, nice. Ooh, yeah, I agree with that. Oh, what? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Like, I think, uh, something that makes, uh, using the, the splits into a skill, like, really, really strong is, like, when people don't use a lot of movement. Like, I think yeah, movement's right. probably the, the hardest thing about Street Fighter V, is, um, controlling the space and realizing when you can punish. Like, I think that's, like, the absolutely strongest thing about Pump. Punk is it, he just has great spacing. He knows exactly how to do it. I'm looking at Scythe now, and I feel like he uh, should be baiting your um, Ibuki's um, the heavy kick or forward heavy kick? Yeah, like, uh, it's a uh, forward heavy kick. Yeah, yeah. And, um, like, definitely should be trying to whip punish it, sort of that's make it right, whip. Yeah. Um, because sitting outside of that range of Ibuki's forward heavy kick uh, is perfect because. Um, it limits what buttons that Ibuki can do. Like, she can pretty much do, like, V-Skill, and I can't think of too much else. Or she That's pretty much it, yeah. Yeah, or just do some random codines. So, um... I would love... Um... to see more of that. Yeah, like, if you, uh... make sure to sort of stand your ground, and then when I walk up to you, I'm gonna attempt to do the forward heavy kick. So... Yeah. Then you walk back, a slight step back, I'm gonna whiff it, and then it has like, I don't know, I think 20 or something like that, uh, punishable frames. So, you can get a really big punish as Karen. So, uh, like, I think that's what you should be trying to focus on, and then once I'm scared to do the splits kick, that allows you to sort of move in more, because I can't block you out with, uh, yeah, that button. Can we just have you guys go in just one more time? Um, 
And can you just spam that forward heavy kick yeah, as sure. if you're in training mode? <laughs> uh, just so uh, so I can get an idea of the distance he has to sort of stand away from a Buki for it to yeah. be sort of a bait to whiff, and then he can punish with a standing heavy punch. Yep, sounds fun. Because I feel like that's a really key uh, skill mm. in this matchup. Yeah, because um, once you get inside that forward heavy kick range, uh, as possible, you can like, that's the sort of area where it's a bit iffy for me to anti it. So, like, yeah, once that becomes a thing, like, it's it's a lot easier to jump in. So that becomes a sort of more pressure on me where I have to focus more on anti as rather than, like, if I'm outside that range, it's like, crouching heavy punches is pretty free. It's like, no, no brain thought in that, and I get a mix up as well. But inside that range, I'm going to have to walk around you and try and juggle with back medium punches and stuff. So, yeah, it's definitely key to the matchup. Let's get into it then. All right. Ready up, boys. Hi. Um, also, thank you, MDP, for uh, your subscription. That's four months in a row. Uh, thank you so much, man. Uh, you know what? I think that deserves... A Red Bull code. Oh, wow. I, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I reckon that's a that's a pretty. Send it into the uh, code for Discord. Yes, I'll send you one code through Discord. And thanks to Scythe for those codes. Yes, thank you to Scythe. Not Stavis. Not Stavis. <laughs> <Not Stavis. laughs> no. Also, I'd also like to thank uh, another Wait. person for subscribing. L L L. Oh, you know what? We should right. give that guy a. Oh, wait, it's me! Alright, what are we doing here? It's too close. Yeah, like, uh, you, you definitely have to walk backwards to make it whiff. So, like, say in this range, I'm sort of uh, standing around, and then I'm gonna walk at you, and then I'm gonna press it as soon as I can. So, once you realize that I'm in the, in the range of that, uh, I want you to just step back briefly. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's better. No, new connection issue. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, that's my fault. So, just... Alright, I'm gonna come at you from full <laughs> screen. I'm just gonna walk yep. at you from full screen. And then I want you to step back as soon as I, um, get into that range. Yeah, that's perfect. Alright. So, like, once you can do that in the matchup, you can do it a, I don't know, I'm assuming you can get a really big punish with Heavy Punch with Karen. Yeah, it's steady Heavy Punch, you just can't go, actually, etc. Yeah. And this is something you can practice in training mode, isn't it, Pug? Oh yeah, definitely. It's like, uh... You can also, like, walk forward to bait it as well. Like, yeah. I can, um... I can see you coming at me and I'm like, oh shit, I gotta do that. Yeah. But as you yeah, see, it's like just, it's hard because of like the um, the fact you stop walking back when you start the move, so it's complete anticipation. Oh um, yeah. What's the proximity guard on that? Like it's uh, what I felt like was the right range. If I tried to walk back and you'd already started the move, I'd stop walking back. Yeah right. Oh, okay, so it's a little bit earlier than. So like even even at max range, I'll stop. Yeah. I mean, that's out of range, but anything in range, I just stopped moving. Yeah, okay. So you kind of have to walk back a little bit before um, I even start doing the move. Yeah, so it's all anticipation. Yeah, okay. It's defi it, you definitely want to suck them in, so you wouldn't be doing it at the beginning. You want to sort of um, and, um, establish that you're willing to be within a certain range. Uh, and it's about where you are right now. Um, yeah. Mm. Uh, about maybe even a bit closer, like standing medium kick sort of range, you know, because yeah. uh, Ibuki's um, crouching medium punch is really powerful when she's got V trigger, yep. um, especially, but mainly then. So uh, you can sort of afford to be at this at this range, and then eventually, as the match goes on, even in the first round, uh, establish that they're going to actually do forward heavy kick. And when they start doing that, then you can bait them. Uh, yeah. And that's when you start positioning yourself a little bit further away. Um, yeah, like, around here is, um, sort of, I can't really reach you. But yeah. you can reach me, like, that's a whiff punish. 
Yeah. So it's like, yeah. um, so around here, it's like, you don't even need to be engaging. Like, we're not even playing right now. Like, there's nothing I can do to hit you. So you're not scared of me at all, right? Yeah. But then once you get into here, you've got to recognize that suddenly this becomes a thing. Suddenly yeah. this becomes a thing. And then you can go from there. Mm. I think that um, this is all starting to sound like the juice box video. <laughs> Maybe. I'm sure you've all seen that. If you haven't, definitely go and give it a watch. It's, it's basically what these guys are talking about, which is uh, anticipation and uh, looking for things. So you know that Bug's going to walk into that space and press uh, the forward heavy kick to do the splits. So you walk into that space to do it and then you immediately walk out. So before the button's being pressed, so you don't get hit by proximity guard. It's just very important to recognize when I've got nothing. <laughs> it's like, I, I can't hurt you right now, so like, there's no reason to be afraid. So then you can kind of walk in and be like, are they going to stop me walking in? And then, yeah, you can go from there. Yeah, right. Very tech fast. Is V skill? I'm assuming um, the dude. Is V skill on block hard to punish? Oh, definitely. It's a space yeah, thing. Yeah. It's like I'm kind of using it to dodge moves. So if I'm doing it in the part where uh, the the move will actually hit me, I've spaced it horribly, and like you deserve yeah. to be punished for that. But it's like oh, um, it's more of a just you got to beat that option. Like there is a fair bit of risk from jump when I do it. Because she doesn't actually move herself. Alright. <laughs> and and when you're playing a Buki, always mash uh, when you get stunned. Because uh, <laughs> uh, like I could be sneaky, like I can only get two kunai if they're mashing. But if they are uh, if they don't mash, uh, I can get like probably four or five kunai. And each kunai I get is twenty extra damage, so Definitely, yeah, right. <laughs> definitely mash. It's go time. Literally right. giving away damage, otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, look, I think uh, that's been a good learning experience for you uh, at the moment, Scythe. It's something yeah. you can take away to training mode is to go in, get that situation um, where you've got your Bruki uh, walking backwards and forwards, walk backwards and forwards, trying the same, staying in the same space. Uh, and have that as one action, and then have the second action to be that forward heavy kick. So it'll just do it randomly and just try and stay in that good space as opposed to um, being hit by it. It's an awesome um, situation uh, to practice with punishing in general with as well. Mm. Um, because if you do get a down pat in a match, because you are establishing your range and then you're baiting it it's it i mean you're 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 beginning to grow as a player yeah just, that is really important um as you get a lot better so i'm happy with busy yeah, oh, that was good yeah 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 well thank you very much scythe uh what we're going to do now is we're going to have uh <laughs> mr. mr busy uh is going to join us hashtag jury feet Hashtag Jerry Wait, save, save the feed, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> no, free, free the feed. Free, free the, the feed, feed. yeah. Jerry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Mr. Busy, if you're listening, jump into chat. Come say hi. We've got the uh, LP for you uh, chat stream going on. Jump into that, say hello, and we can uh, see what's happening. Um. And also, you can tell us who you want to play, and we can start moving forward from there. Oh man, busy! It's hey, been a while. Yes. Yeah, it's. Uh, I haven't played this game in a while, so. <laughs> <laughs> Every single time I've ever played busy, it's oh, I haven't played this game for like six months. So. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always that. It's always that. Fair enough. Skull girls just. <laughs> Skull girls. Brings him back in. <laughs> oh no, man. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, this game, so. yeah, let's mm. go. All right. Uh, busy. Who do you want to play? Um, you know what? Let's play Bug first. All right. Let's play Bug first. All right. Cool. Yeah. This let's is go. Is there anything that you're feeling you're lacking in particular? Um, 
probably defense. Like defense, yeah. Like I, I usually get really opened up by shimmies. Well, because you know throw techs. Yeah, and, right. Um, also starting offense because with jury it's kind of difficult. Like most of the offense that I that I end up starting is usually from jump ins. So like yeah. my ground game is pretty lacking, I reckon. Yeah, right. But, well, yeah, that's, that's all I can think of right now. Cool. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll have a look at that and see what we can see. Cool. And uh, let's get cracking. Two sets, right? Oh, uh, sorry. I'll get to the back of the queue. Then we'll <laughs> get cracking. <laughs> I was waiting for you to start yelling at them. <laughs> Guys, why are you starting? Oh, wait, my bad. I just wanted, yeah, I, I, maybe I should have told you where you were going. <laughs> no, I just completely forgot. <laughs> All right. You're <laughs> beefy. Had to steal your color there. Purple is the joke. Purple's great color, dude. Oh, definitely. All right. So. Uh, jury for season three. She's looking strong, I'm telling you. Um, Watch out for that girl. Yeah. I'm already scared. I, I haven't seen the hatch notes though. It's looking good as well, I say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, well. well then. Round one. Fight! I just hope that you can, like, like I understand uh, anti-air light be beating like an anti-air, like a light jump in or something like that. Maybe yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit shit if they beat the heavy. Yeah. Surely, surely you won't do it. It's very obvious. But you did it. Not right. <laughs> well, um, in the round before that, I had him in the corner exactly the same situation. He was about to be stunned. And I'm like, okay, yeah. here's the DP. And he didn't DP, so I'm like, okay. This time I'm like, yeah, all right, I'll, uh, I'll go for it this time. And uh, that's where the DP came out. So that's always good, mixing it up. Yeah. yeah. I, used to, I used to DP all the time. And I was like, why am I losing? <laughs> <laughs> I saw no chimneys from anyone. Yeah, true. Uh, something I am noticing though is um, yeah. I'm just getting a lot, a lot away with a lot of. Um, I'm not sure how fake it is, but a lot of fake buttons. Like you're pressing a lot of mediums, walk forward, medium, walk forward. Oh yeah. Boom, and this is just sitting, like not checking any, any, uh, any jabs or white buttons. Oh, Which is, yeah, exactly. Um, and that goes back to that first point made about knowing oh. frame data, knowing when it's your turn. Or, 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 or. <laughs> um, like, you don't actually have to specifically know what the frame data is. It's, um, as Buck was saying, knowing what your fastest button is, 
giving it a shot, seeing if it works. Didn't work? Cool. Don't press that button there. It did work? Awesome. Try a slightly faster button. Did it work? Yes. Use that button. If it doesn't work? Go back to your like button. You don't actually have to know the frame data, knowing the frame data will speed up that process. But, um, just experiment. Yeah. Alright, yeah, like, press the button. Jury has some, like, kind of unique tools. Like, I think her medium kick is, like, phenomenally good. It's where. It's got, like, this crazy ass range, but it also can, can, like, convert to, like, cancels if they're close. Oh, it's yeah. Fast. So it's like. You kind of start off with the jab. If the jab doesn't work, try that one. <laughs> Huh. Oh. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a lag spike. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Oof. Uh, Shinkan asks, what's the gap to interrupt you between a Buki Squawk forward standing medium punch? Well, if I do it, just like, mash it as much as I can. It's uh, a yeah. it's plus two, and it's a five frame button. So there's a a three frame gap, but obviously that loses. But if I want to walk forward any meaningful yeah. amount, it's usually like six or seven frames, I'd say. So you can yeah, usually right. get a medium. But I'd probably challenge with a light, because like yeah. kind of hit lights are great too, because you can convert them to whatever you Wait, want. This is off, this is standing medium punch walk forward. Right? Yeah. So like yeah. medium punch walk forward medium punch like. If you see, like, if I don't press media punch exactly straight away, um, mm -hmm. like, it's your turn to press a button. And if oh. I if I don't press a button and I press it twice in a row, which is the frame track version, um, mm. I'm like, my turn's over. Like, I'm, I'm way too far away to do anything. Okay. So yeah, it's a good yeah. thing to do. Check, check with lights, yeah. 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 So, uh, Busy, who would you like to play now? Do you want to continue with uh, Bug? Do you want to play myself? Do you want to play Polly? I'll play Polly. You'll play Polly? Yeah. No worries. But why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's go. All right. This will give uh, Bug a good chance as well to use his eagle bug eyes. What was it? Shimmies and fence and I love your, a lot of your like attack. Starting off yeah. Starts oh, off the jump. Off the jump in. Right. Why? Cool. Like, this might sound a bit scrubby, but uh, the best advice I have against someone that gets shimmied a lot is to, instead of instead of um, doing a, a delay tech, jab yeah. them. Just just yeah. jab. Just jab. Like, yeah, like... It works really well. It's, uh... They're trying to shimmy you, so if they try and shimmy you, you jab, it's your turn again. Like, you're gonna hit them or, or be plus on blocking you, so... Yeah, it's definitely a better option than delay teching, where... Literally, the best option you can have is, um, you know, stopping damage. Where if you wake up jab, you'll beat the same options, but you'll also uh, get a turn if if they decided to do something else and didn't quite work out. So yeah, right. But then you can get crush cannons and stuff. But I don't know. Mm. You have to weigh your risks. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, I prefer just to not do anything. Yeah. I think that's a terrible option. Always be pressing buttons. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Um, again, don't remember who, who said it, but the best option on wake up is to just down back. Until they prove to you otherwise, just down back. Yeah. He's down back. Mm. Yeah, I'm just a really big fan of stealing turns. So, <laughs> <laughs> if, if they're trying to shoot me, that's a, that's a turn you can steal. So, it's good to look out yeah. for that kind of stuff. And that, that's uh, a lot of what we were talking about uh, last week with Mr. ROF, so if you missed that, go to YouTube, check that out, uh, the replay is up there. A lot of interesting stuff is talked about, uh, about looking for things and testing your opponent. So I found it really useful myself, so definitely go check that out. <laughs> what what yeah. happened? The American resets, my friend. That looked like a a meaty uh, elbow oh, there, was yeah. it? Of the <laughs> that looked that looked pretty unusual. I swear that was me. Karin, Karin can super off the elbow in V trigger. No one does it because 
there's no real point to do it, but uh, uh, there are there are um there are trade setups for that. Um, oh, right. And oh, I'm learning them, so watch out. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I've seen Zed use them, so there's other people who know them. But um, uh, yeah, hey, that was just me putting the super input too early. Oh, that was so lucky. Oh. oh, yes, here we go. Three <laughs> things. Right. Go away. So, I don't think the back off was a good choice because Polly is a person who will down back for days unless he's really close to stun and about to die. And you can probably expect the most, like most people. Yeah. Well, I mean, last time I did something, I just did crash and leave. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. But anyway, um. What's up, Jasper? Good to see you in the chat. Thanks for joining us. I feel like my fake shimmies are worrying you anyway. Uh, people of Twitch chat, what do you guys have to say? Is there any advice you guys have for, uh, uh, Mr. Busy? Is there anything out there you guys see with your, uh, eagle eyes? I was noticing something there, um... Yeah. Uh, like, Polly was using a lot of the, um... I'm not sure on the names of the Karen, but, like, she sort of ends with the shoulder. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's negative one or two, something like that. But, um, so, shoulder is Orochi? negative two. Orochi? Yeah. Negative two, okay. It's yeah, well, you did Orochi a fair bit, and it's like, um... Each time you did it, Busy had a different answer. Like, sometimes it was jab, sometimes it was medium punch, sometimes it was just block a bit. Like, mm -hmm. uh... Mm -hmm. I think it was, like, you gotta figure out what's your best, you know, option there. Which, sometimes, it is literally throw. Yeah. Like, because, um, a, a smart Korean, or a patient one, Will, um, will uh, block after an Orochi yep. that's been blocked, and um, and not DP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, if they're blocking, they're just right for a for a throw. Um, and once so once you do that, if they start proving to you that they're just gonna always down back afterwards, then you can throw them for days. But usually for myself, um, I will let them throw me once and then I will start um, doing uh, doing a three frame afterwards, mm -hmm. which is not safe for Corinne, but it'll beat the throw. Yeah. And this is exactly what uh, ROF is talking about, is noticing what your opponent's doing. If they do something, they're just blocking and just waiting for you to do something, that's a perfect opportunity to go for a throw. And um, once you've got them reacting to the throw, uh, whether it's a jab or something like that, then you can punish them with a, a bigger button, get that extra bit of damage. Wow. Yeah. Like, it's, it's never good to, well, unless you're a Buki, I suppose, but to get in with a negative button. Because, like, if you get in with a negative button, instantly you're vulnerable to throw if it's close. So, in a situation like that, you start from throw, you start throwing them, and then they're forced to either, like, mm -hmm. delay tech you or start mashing, and both of which you get damage from. So you can sort of really open them up for doing that and get them scared to just chuck it out there. All right. I've just got, uh... oh, let's see how it's edited there. Uh, Havel has uh, asked slash constructed, uh, is Corinne's standing heavy punch into dash shoulder not jabbable? It depends. So uh, canceled early, um, Corinne standing heavy punch into uh, a shelter is a block mm. string, is a true block string. Um, but what Corinne will do is that they'll, because her heavy shoulder um, pushes so far forward towards the corner, um, we might be a little bit greedy. 
and wait for a late cancel. But that, yeah, that, that, that's when you can jab. I wouldn't recommend it unless you're really seeing them push you very far away and you can tell that uh, they're cancelling really late. So what buttons into dash, into shoulder are jabbable? Um, Cause I know again, it's all the, all the like cancels so, yep. into the shoulder. Um, the biggest one though, and the one that you should be looking out for is crouching medium kick canceled mm. into a Rochi shoulder because that is not a block string. But it's a frame trap. It's a frame trap. Um, oh, right. but only cause it's, yeah, uh, uh, you can jab it. Basically, Seems yeah. like you could do a like a, a delayed DP. DP and beat that option every time. Correct. No matter what cancel you do. Correct. Oh, not not the uh, standing heavy punch into shoulder. That's How true come? block string. Yeah, if it's a true block string, you do a delayed DP. The DP won't come out. But if you do, oh, yeah, right. But if you do the delay DP, oh, then there is a gap there. Then um, yeah, the DP will yes, come out. That's what people. Yes, you can do that. People will do that. Yes. Yeah, I think that's a pretty fun option if you could. Yeah. <laughs> if you've got the option and to do it. Heart professors beat me to it because Hablaskakaf, Hablaskakaf. I hope I said that right, man. Havel, uh, <laughs> I think. Habla? Havel. Havel, but it's Havel. Oh, on Discord, it's Havel. Havel. All right. Well, Havel, since you've uh, the first person to give advice in the Twitch chat, we're going to give you a, a Red Bull code. So um, we'll we'll hit you up. We'll hit you up with that. All right. I just want one more set. For busy, if he thinks that is there anything there that you want to in a training mode situation you would uh, be trying out? Is there anything you want to uh, replicate from a training mode situation? Um, from those two sets, not really anything I can think of right now. To be honest. <laughs> Fair enough, <Yeah>, cool. <laughs> yeah, um, no, no worries. All right, so well, yeah, busy, we'll give you one more. Um, did you want to first poly again, myself or bug? Um, yeah, I'll just play poly again. Play poly again? No worries. All right, let's get this going. So, <laughs> so I should try and like watch my opponent a bit more. Yeah. So, um, one of the things that we're talking about is, uh, again, last week, paying attention to, um, what your opponent does just on basic things like wake up on knockdown what they do on your knockdown that type of stuff just paying attention to what they're doing right there uh what they do after if they use a, a certain move a lot like uh orochi the shoulder if that gets yep. used a lot what what do they do do they block they do block how long do they block for are you able to get a, a little walk forward into a throw if you do keep abusing that um one of the things ROF so said is just test class. the opponent. Test them with jump well in. If they're not in, jumping in with them. Um, if they're answering your jump ins, then try something else. Just try things. See what happens. Experiment. It's uh, also, as we were saying earlier, uh, trying things, showing your opponent you're willing to do things, gives them another thing to think about. If you're going to jump in at them, right? Um, that shows you that you, you're willing to jump in. Even if like you get anti aid once or twice, yeah. just jump in again. Show them that you're willing to jump in still, that you're not scared about that anti aid. Keeps mm. them thinking, keeps a portion of their brain thinking about that anti air. Yeah, I suppose that's true. I do like uh, with jumping to like make sure you jump for a reason. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like you kind of don't want to just be like, all right, I'm just going to jump, see how it goes. Uh, it's more of a. They're whiffing a heavy button or something like that, and then you're like, alright, screw it. That's a good jump in time. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I don't mean just carelessly jump in. Yeah, like, yeah. Still, still play smart and do the right, like, try and play smart, but don't be afraid to, even if they've anti edge you once or twice, don't be afraid to show them, no, I, I will still jump at you uh, if you give me, up, give me the opportunity. Yeah, exactly. Like, a lot of characters yeah. have a bad place where they can't really anti air. Like most yeah. characters, there's a there's a few exceptions where they can pretty much anti from everywhere. <laughs> but... um, yeah. <laughs> um, um, also, 
Uh, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. But yeah, that type of stuff. Just testing your opponent uh, and showing them, giving them things to think about. Cutting yeah. wins. Yeah. Yeah. And like, you should try and recognize like uh, particular situations as well. Like, uh, what what does your opponent like to do after a throw attack? I forget. I just want to say, um, yeah. I'm about to start playing, and I won't be able to talk. Um, I'm crouching, light punching, um, three framing basically a lot when I'm up close. Yep. After you hit a button, uh, I don't think you should be letting me do that. I'm getting three. Oh, sure. Three turns. Three. Turns. So, uh, Pug, what are you seeing at the moment? Um, I'm just kind of looking, um, and like, one thing I like to focus on when I'm playing is how did the opponent get in, right? Like, mm. how, how did I get into this situation where I'm under pressure? And, um, a lot of the time the answer has been like dashes or jabs or jumps. So, I think that's, you should just definitely try and focus on stopping what options your opponent's using to get in all the time. Yeah, right. So instead of playing the game that he wants to play, play the game which is stopping his opponent from playing this game. Yeah, like uh, a Buki is more of a sort of a counter poker, where um, yeah. you can kind of stop people just doing the same stuff all over the, over the time. So like, yeah, just mm. pay attention to yeah. what your opponent is doing to get in. Yeah. Oh. oh! Punish! Oh no! Oh. We'll jump in! Oh! Oh! I didn't want that. Good block! Oh, good throw! Not it! Oh, oh no! Oh. <laughs> I saw you just block, so I hit throw. Yeah. Wins. I did the um, I did the offline uh fake DP motion. Don't know if you caught that, L. <laughs> yeah, uh, I I I I heard. <laughs> That was uh, when Polly and I were warming up earlier. Oh, yes, yeah, so um, I was teaching him this the secret art. Of the secret the, art of the, the faint, yeah, the faint DP. making the DP sounds on the stick. Oh, there's a good question um, in the the switch chat. Uh, yeah. from that's Von Grimm, I think. Um, yeah. uh, they've noticed like any time like they call it a minus two on block move. Um, it's usually they call that out because it's like uh, they'll do the minus two on block, and then like the the opponent instead of reacting to the minus two on block and taking a turn with a button of some kind, they just they just block like so they throw away the turn basically. So mm. it's not so much your opponent uh, is looking to steal that turn, but rather like uh, you're throwing away your turn. <laughs> you're you're giving it to them for free. They don't have to try and steal it. Yeah. So anytime something's minus one block, it's like you have to do something about it. To be honest, like even if it's something defensive, like there are defensive options too. You don't have to always be aggressive. You can, oh, that's minus two. That's backdash. Like you can backdash that for free, pretty much. So yeah, right. you got to respond to it. You can't just yeah let it let it go for free and just stand there because that shows your opponent like. That, that you don't know how to deal with that minus two, or you don't even know that it's minus two. So, yeah, you definitely have to start setting up games with that. Yeah. 
Uh, I reckon uh, we could also give some codes out to ask the questions. Yeah, I, I think so. That's a really good question. I think we should give a code to Sash. Definitely. All right, Sash. Code will be coming your way in the Team WP Discord chat. Um, Busy, I just wanted to uh, mention that I felt like it was really easy for me to walk up to you and, like I said before, uh, press some sort of light button yeah or even a five frame medium button um without fearing that i'll be counter hit like i felt you were you didn't you didn't defend yourself by checking me with your own three frame button or something like that um so i wonder if i didn't do any dash dashing throws or anything like that. But I wonder if you should go in a lab and uh, have a dummy do some dashing throws. Dashing throws? Or dashing or dash in button, like a crush counter button or something like that. I'm um, just trying to like deal with it. And defend it, yes. Defend it. You should be able to jab them into a combo, punish them basically, uh, eventually. Um, yeah, just one dash. Make it hard yep. yourself. Um, yeah, I mean, the way I do it is I set a dummy to have five different um, follow-ups after the dash. So it might be a dash throw, dash block, dash CC button, dash jab or whatever. It's all random. And then, uh, and then yeah. Oh, and the other thing I do is uh, not just dash-ins. I also um, have a couple of those recordings to a jump-in just to make it complicated for me. But that's only if you really want to do it that way. Just to yeah, test, just to I'll make sure I can do any airs and defend when I'm in neutral. But some, yeah, because it's hard to it's hard to anti air like in neutral as well. Like... Well, even even like um, part of the problem with anti airing with some characters who have really poor buttons is that you're concentrating on the great game ground game so much yeah. that you're not looking for the anti air or you're not positioned in the right place, so you're not looking for that anti air or prepared um, yeah, that, that's... defensively for it um so uh yeah not saying do it that way but uh i reckon that'll he'll sort of help you with having people just walk up to you and pressing a button mm. i don't know you, you went yeah, throw teching attempting to tech were you wait sorry uh when i was walking up and just hitting you with like a light punch you weren't trying to throw tech were you um no i was just blocking pretty much the yeah, whole time okay. yeah yeah so maybe just hitting a button um yeah like you guys have heard of like the the bubble analogy right mm. uh no Not please really. explain oh it's like kind of like you had to clear a certain space um yours by like sort of thinking it as a, as a bubble around your character and anything in that space like you can stop like for jury i'd say it's like uh if they try and walk at you like you can block them off with a medium kick so that's the start of your bubble. So they shouldn't be able to get inside that area. So same with like anti airing and stuff like that. So you, if you think about it as a, a bubble around your character, you just try and keep them out of that area. And then from there, you feel a lot more comfortable because they can't really get in from there. So you have to think about less things, I suppose. Yeah. Hmm. So like her ranges and stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's like yeah. uh, Street Fighter V is like very spacing dependent. Yeah. yeah, I'm just writing all this down right now. All right, cool. Oh, well, GG's, thanks. Hey, yes. All right, thanks, Busy. No worries. Good thank to you. hear from you. Thank you very much. Yeah, no worries. Oh, I'll try to play this schedule. Hey, yeah, catch <laughs> in eight. All right, are we busy? Are yeah. we still racing to plat? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> all right, <laughs> let's do it. I've right, entered you. the ranked world like, again. I'll see you in there, my friend. See you, dude. All right, see you, mate. We need to do like a uh, a L versus busy race to plat stream <laughs> at some stage. Um, That'd be fun. We have a new guest. We do have a new guest. Yeah, guest. Fledgling. Habble. Or Hablaskakaf. <laughs> I was going to say it backwards, but that might be rude. Mm, how would you say backwards? <laughs> <laughs> He's in the, he's in the uh, chat too. Yeah. 
like half. Originally, it was like a Blaska calf. It's like an old, yeah. old joke, but is it a joke uh, that I would understand? I'm very old. Oh no, I mean like it's an, old uh, an old in joke. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. I do like her Blaska calf. I'm a fan of her Blaska calf. That's that's fun to say for me. <laughs> Are you actually a Ken player? Oh, sorry, Mike. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Oh, yeah, so I'm waiting for a Ken player. All right, so just don't play Polly. <laughs> <laughs> High stakes. All right. All right. Um, I reckon we get to L and oh, wait, well, yeah. Who, who, who do you, you want to play? play? Um, I feel like the the character that emphasizes my weaknesses the most is Guile. So if there's a Guile yeah. player here, uh. Bug, can you play Guile? <laughs> nope. nope. Uh, I've uh, tried once or twice, no. Shenkan, you out there still? Otherwise, you've got uh, myself, I'm Nakuma, we've got Polly, who is um, Perrin, and you've got Bug, the ever-present, amazing uh, Ibuki player. I'm not sure why I All said right. ever but, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's go, Akuma. Akuma? All right, you got me. Let's go. All right. So, um, what, what do you feel like you're lacking? Um, um, at, at the moment, it's how I respond to constant pressure and just keeping that, that calm in the middle of all of it. Yeah. All right, so just um, staying calm under pressure. Yeah. I'm typically uh, quite a greedy player. Much like you, you were saying earlier, I like to take my turn. So, um, particularly, Gaia is just particularly one of those characters that really controls the flow of the match. Yeah, right. That's fair. Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go a little bit silent so I can concentrate. Yeah, I'm good. Because, uh, when I was playing against Bug, it wouldn't have gone any different anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably get uh, a lot more cheesy if I'm talking and playing at the same time. It makes it a bit harder. That's for sure. Yeah, fair. It's then some, I've had some uh, players I've played against that uh, are actually like stronger when they talk against other people. Because <laughs> they're thinking less? Yeah, maybe, maybe so. Alright. Very strange fireball wall. <laughs> oh, that's a big anti air, too. Yeah. That's a very good trade. Off again. Haha. Don't Whew, nervous guys. That was too close for my liking. Oh no. Nervous guys. <laughs> the can struggle. Oh. <laughs> yeah, too far away. The fireball in combo. That was a right fireball too, because I'm too used to being a Puma. Ah. Do it! More, more. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, that would have worked in season one for sure. <laughs> <laughs> a little too early. Yeah. Alright. So, uh. Whew. What did your bug guys see there? <laughs> um, I noticed, like, a lot of missed punishes. There's a lot of scrambles. Yeah. 
also uh, his target combo is mad unsafe. Sweep that. Yeah, you can. You're just too slow. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm becoming an old man. I think like the the strength of Ken is just like you're not really prepared at all times to react to a dash. Yeah. Good. yeah. Oh. oh what? I can't I stay that side? That agile, yeah, though. <laughs> That's the end quotation marks. Why did you sweep? I thought he'd do something, like back away. That's, not That's, That's a terrible, yeah. The old me would have. Yeah. Is that dead? Mm, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> That's very dead. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Think, yeah, because of scaling, yeah. Mm, you probably could have tried for a reset, I suppose, but that's running the risk because Ken was fully yeah. stocked. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd... I, I would have gone. Yeah. Like, that's usually like a unfavored thing to do, I think, uh, when you one round down. It's like, uh, yeah. you generally want to win the first round in the third round. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't too far to fall. <laughs> that surely would have worked all best back then. Yeah. You remember when Demon was when uh, Demon Flip was fast? Oh man. Shen Khan says you can't sweep. Uh, standing heavy punch run cancels. It's minus five. Oh. Okay. Interesting. All right. So I'm not just slow. I didn't know that. That's good. Well, that means Shen Khan gets saved. Yes, yeah, Shenkan. It's code. Oh, oh my god, left him so much. Oh my gosh, drop city. Oh, don't jump in. Oh, she means. It's because you're worried about this one. Yeah. This is, this is all because you're worried about that. That's exactly it. Than just like going, I've got an 80% health for you. Ooh! I want to go for purpose, uh, purpose for the Oh, yeah, I just Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Round two. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I also oh, knew. That's gonna be better in three. Because of the damage boost to it. Yeah. yeah. I knew too, but I didn't know anything about it. That's super punishable, by the way. No. 
I helped them back. Oh. Yeah, you got, you're fully stopped. What? No! Game <laughs> <laughs> trap! Oh. <laughs> what did you try to do that got I hit got... by that? Hard I mean, to in beat trigger, his minus two. Oh. No, I didn't sweep, I did crouching medium punch because it was minus two. Oh, oh man. Oh, I'm st <laughs> When you should have just <laughs> I should have just supered. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. He's in. <laughs> oh. Ah. That choice. I reckon you should have left one more combo. Oh! Then again, I mean, also... Oh, I did! This is right now. Yeah. What? He tricked you. He did. He tricked me real good. He did a. He did a light tattoo. This, I thought he'd be unsafe. <laughs> he tricked you. He tricked me good. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Habble, uh, what, what advice would you be giving to L? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Time. That's right. I'm, I'm gonna go to the naughty quarter now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I can hear you, Hart. I can yeah. Hey, Hart. Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> that last, that last uh, wake up. Yeah, you didn't know about oh. the the Tatsu fan trap. Yeah. I mean, I hadn't, I hadn't shown that I was uh, gonna escape those throws. So I think that, that was pretty good. Gotcha. Mm. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> uh, straight up Ken gimmicks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like... You just need to know how to react appropriately to, like, hard kick Tatsu and V-Trigger and stuff like that. Like, yeah, I think just Ken and V-Trigger is a pretty scary character. So... LL needs yeah. to understand that matchup better, even though there's probably only, like, you know, five Ken players in Australia left, but... <laughs> <laughs> there are still things not... about Akuma as well that I know, in theory, but I, my brain doesn't compute to uh, actually doing it. Yeah. yeah. Like jabbing the forward uh, jump... The forward jump chop. Yeah, right. That's, that's really hard to jab, I find, because it kind of like... It jumps over it a bit. It's like mm. the only one for move like exactly that so i never expected yeah i think you have to jab twice <laughs> Let's do this. yeah okay. okay cool thanks Hart, for for dropping in um <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, as Hart was saying, we have got a, a dial for you to play. This is Shenkan, who's actually our very first um, mentor, advisor, pro player for LP for you when we had our uh, Guile Round night. Round one. West so, Suburban Melbourne's own Shenkan. <laughs> oh, not <nothing. laughs> Yeah. Ooh, okay. So, I reckon Shenkan might be interested in that sort Yeah, possibly. We did, we did put a, a disclaimer, not a proclaimer. Disclaimer. In the uh, chat saying the first match of the day was just checking out the first day bus. Yeah, I generally find that too. It does take a while to sort of get your mind into gear. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's 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 why I lost. It was uh, my mind definitely <laughs> wasn't in gear, guys. <laughs> Uh, I definitely find when I put four on ranks, I need to play for about half an hour. Mm. I'm a very slow one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it definitely helps. And then maybe I might have 10 minutes of all. Mm. Of like top level. Not top level, but top me, level poly. Top level poly. Yeah. Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's very hard at the end of uh, a round when like, Gal has a life lead on you. Because like, you generally have to take risks to get around booms. So it's, it's, it's hard because you, you can't guess wrong once, you just hit one boom and you die. Oh, mm. guessing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like one thing I think I, I like about the Gala matchup, like, it is a bit annoying how it can throw so many booms and control space and whatnot, but, like, you can make a lot of mistakes and you don't die. You can probably make, like, 20 mistakes and you'll probably still be okay. As long as you're not wildly guessing, you have chances for, uh, you know, hanging back to control of the match. Yeah. Oh. Is that what got me? Uh, yeah. perhaps. <laughs> A part of me, uh, part of me always fanboys when I see that light confirm into the Gale <laughs> Super. <laughs> No, yeah. I, I love a good light confirm into Gal Super. Or just light confirm into Super is always fun. Um, Huck Mungo says, now I don't know if this is actually true because I don't do this. Don't ever jump at Gal after blocking a boom, just use neutral. Right. Yeah, that's pretty true. Like, um, he's plus after booms, so it's his turn. And if you're jumping when you're, someone's positive, it's like, you're kind of asking for trouble. So there's not even a debate about that, I should just not consider it? Uh, yeah, uh, like, wait until it's back to neutral. Once, um, if you if he hasn't got a boom on the screen, um, it's neutral, so that's fine. Right. But if you block a boom, you gotta sort of, even if it's like three quarter screen away, you gotta understand that you're kind of in his, his, uh, Oki kind of. Right. So like, yeah. you get a neutral jump. And then if he throws a slow boom, that's your chance to... Oh, nice combo. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, if he um... If he uh, throws a slow boom, that's your chance to move forward a bit, take back some space. Mm -hmm. And then if he throws a fast boom, that's your chance to neutral jump and then take back even more space. Right. So, thanks for that uh, really good bit of advice there, Puck. We'll send a Red Bull code your way to... Uh, spike that little conversation with your great bit of advice. That cups up. Yeah, that's a rough one. Like, you kind of... The scariest thing Garth can do when he's thrown out all those V-Trigger Brooms is jump. So that's what you should be paying attention for. Waiting for that jump from Garth. Yeah, otherwise, otherwise you're just blocking some booms, you don't really care. Yeah. So, oh. oh no. uh, so, Bug, where would you say um, Bubble should focus? Like, if you if you're gonna take something to training mode after this set, what would it be? Um, you kind of want to. Well, Ken's a bit different because he's a four frame character. So in the in the corner, it's like the hop kick's a lot more scary because that's plus one, so that's yeah. pretty much an advantage. Oh. <laughs> but uh, like when when you're in, like the situation here, like you got the jump in, of course, because you threw a fireball. But um, like that was when like everything happens when you're playing Gar, because like he's either forced to. Take a risk and throw out a sonic boom where you're in very like jumpable range, or he's mm. gonna have to throw out buttons. And if he's throwing out buttons, that's your chance to whiff punish or crush counter. So yeah. you kind of you kind of want to be playing that game rather than like how do I get around booms? You want to try and be like, are you gonna throw a boom or are you gonna button? Because I'm in your I'm in your face. If, if I'm looking to whiff punish a button he's throwing out, what would be my ideal go to there? Hmm. Because it'd usually be like standing fierce, I think, right? To crush. 
Yeah. yeah. It depends how far away you are. Like, I think Gael's um, furthest range button he can do is uh, his hop kick. And, right. like, that looks like it uh, It sort of goes... Um, it goes over lows, but it's not actually airborne. So uh, a good way to beat that is to go for a standing crush counter. Like, you'd probably go for a standing hard punch at that spacing, and you could get a full crush counter punish. Just as long as it's reasonably spaced. Yeah, like... Right, right. Yeah, you want to yeah. just try and... Beat out his longest range buttons and advance from there. Because my longest uh, range thing is like eight frames start up the standing medium punch. So yeah. Let's get Havel, let's get Havel uh, and Shinkan back. Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, Havel, we'll give you one more shot against Shinkan. Yep. And uh, then after that, we'll get our next fledgling in. Okay, cool. And uh, Shinkan, like, he plays uh, Ken too, so he can probably tell you, like, what's the absolute best buttons to be pressing at that range. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, luckily, Shinkan just said then, I would look at all of Ken's mediums for which. Yeah, there you go. For, for which one? Uh, for Ken, if you're trying to with punish, just uh, any of Ken's mediums are the way to go. Whichever fits the best in the scenario, then. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. Which is uh, what we're talking about going into the training mode, labbing it out. Yeah. Uh, finding just the situation mediums that you're... Is closest, but that's you know, only a specific. Um, at yeah. box range. Yeah, right. Is there any? Is there any? Um, anything specifically you'd like to practice with punishing? Um, I think the hard punch is probably getting me the most, or uh, or sweep. But that's a lot more. Mm. That's, that's a lot more straightforward. Round one. We've got the overly tanned dial. Um, costume change, we'll see how it works out. Fun. A lot of boons. Yeah, that's, that was good spacing because he had the. It was actually in the mix. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, I like oh, how you he were stopping him from throwing buttons uh, by like threatening the whiff punish at the perfect range, but he was not throwing a buttons because you scared him that much. So that's your chance to actually go in. So like, yeah, like just just dash in. Like, it's playing on a TV. The dude can't react, so just just get in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, is that not punishable? The upside down kick? No, it's minus two. Oh wow. This should be um, plus in season two, like before it was point one, right? I don't think so. It's ridiculous. My memory. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Like, uh, they made it so that afterwards you can combo crash medium punch. So you can use it from like really far away and combo from it still. But then they yeah, nerfed right. it to like, you can only get Chad now. So it's pretty like, uh, fine. Oh, right on. Um... Yeah, th those moments of hesitation. It's when you just gotta capitalize. <laughs> yeah, I think like anytime someone throws a DP out, they like the response is, "Oh yeah, I can DP too." <laughs> yeah. Well, this is this is like um, Shinakuma CVS two colors for Guile. What is this? <laughs> In Guile. No, it's just um, 
bro guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I like it. Yeah, oh. nice. He's getting forced to throw out those buttons and it's giving you the chance to whiff punish. And you can make him stop pressing the buttons and then he can actually go in. That's, yeah. that's good. Ooh. Oh boy. I can assume that was an execution error. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not actually after seeing that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah, it is. I thought for sure that was going to be a throw. <laughs> good old light DP. Oh, that's such a risky read for little reward. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's where my brain goes. It's like, oh, I can stop this. <laughs> Yeah, right. DP is a whiff punish. I like it. Oh, I love the um, DP is a whiff punish. I was um, playing Panda, who's a, another Ken player. Ooh. One of those that I And he whiff punish my fireballs with DP. It was beautiful. Nice. Not like, he, he'd be looking for it and do it on purpose too. Oh, that's a good reaction. And you got the V trigger to play with, let's see what happens. Oh. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You, you, you built that up. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. You built that up, Bug, I got really excited and um, yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he went in for it and it, all the hype was all there and uh, Shenkan opened with the throw. I, I don't know if, even if he opened with that throw, or that was just a delay tech because he was scared and it just worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a bit of both. Yeah. It's go time. But I think, like, I definitely saw some improvements there in your neutral. And then you started going a bit crazy with DPs and such. But yeah, that's, <laughs> that's generally the idea with um, when you're fighting Gal is you want to stop him throwing brooms and making them, him having no advantage of them. And then when you sort of get in, you try and get into whiff buttons and then he gets scared to whiff buttons and then you can actually like really get in his face. And yeah, then they yeah. start getting really scared and they start EX flash kicking and yeah, that's a whole can of whoop ass. Where my mind stops thinking of the, the pattern is having having scared them, then changing to adapt to them being scared. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I kinda noticed that. You, you you get him out of um pressing buttons and he didn't really capitalize fully on it. Mm. So that's something you can definitely work on, which is good. Yeah. All right, so. All right, so we have Swifty Sal. Is that who's joining us next? His Discord name is Mad Boy Cody. Oh, Mad I know that guy. guy. He's cool. Right. He's cool. He's all right. Swifty Sal. Oh, you, you want to play us, Swifty Sal? Are you going to jump on the mic? He's gone rogue. <laughs> He's gone rogue. All right. You know what? He's gone rogue. He gets to play me. All right. So. Uh, so he seems to be uh, an, inter an interesting rank for a fledgling. So we'll see how this goes. Oh my, this is a Karin. A super platinum Karin. Yeah. This is uh this is reverse LP. This is reverse LP for you. Holy, what do I do? Not that. That was a really bad choice. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe Tess is uh, anti air power. It's also looking at the crashing light punch, so it's not really good against me. We're in. Nice, like it. Yeah. Back there. Uh, optimal. Like it's kind of good to know that like it's always optimal to do the biggest meter build thing, but sometimes as well it's like it's more optimal to jab them because you also give your opponent a lot of meter from trying. So if you have a lot more than your opponent, you might well want to just uh, just jab them <laughs> or something low. Stuck between two ideas. Nice jab check. Oh no. Well, that's uh, the plus one, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, we're in! Here we go. We're still in. Uh, I just need him kick. Yeah, he over. <laughs> so, I pressed medium kick after that. I should have not been... What's medium kick? Six frames? Five. You're late then. No, I'm just slow. Alright, comes back to me being slow and old. Here we go. No worries, guys. <laughs> um, that's the greedy saying. option though, isn't it? Uh, well it's 5 and minus 2, which means it'll be 3 frames. Yeah, but priority. like, what I mean is like, that's uh, if you do a 5 frame or whatever, you have to do it frame perfect to make sure it wins, right? But then if you did a, a 3 frame, you've got like, 2 fr extra frames to play with, so... It's kind of the greedy option, if you've got slow reactions, just jab. And like you can get a counter hit combo off that if it uh, still combos, yeah, you still right. get the medium combo route. They're on the side of consistency. Yeah, exactly. There's no reason for me to throw tech there. He hasn't thrown me one once that I remember. Ah, uh, crouching heavy punch is ten. I don't know I'm <laughs> Jump? No, alright. Yeah, it's, uh, that was a bit hard. Although, I guess we could have been trying to Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is, that is massively unsafe. Yeah, you're Thanks, getting, guys. You're getting mm -hmm. a lot of um, turns stolen. Like he's yeah, right. doing a lot of staggering his medium buttons and stuff like that. Mm. So, yeah, like situations like that, they're except in the corner. Um, you can just kind of get out, just backdash. Just, just get back to the neutral is a really good goal. Yeah, right. Karen has very oppressive buttons. Okay, I'll jump in. Uh, yeah, I think also you, maybe you were standing in the wrong position. Yeah, right. You don't want to be too close to Karen. You want to be able to catch and heavy punch her at mm. will. Yeah. When you want to. Alright, so we'll call this the last one for the night, um, and then we'll do a bit of a wrap-up. So, uh, we'll watch these guys play, and maybe Bug can talk about how he's approaching the game while he's doing this, if you All don't right. mind, Bug. Sure thing.
So I'm just gonna jump straight away. Like, he knows now, though. <laughs> That's fine. I think there's a bit of a delay, so it's sure we can. Like, I'm gonna. I'm gonna command dash. Command jump, let's go. Yeah, gotta grab off that. I'll do it again, it'll be funny. Oh, no, he's doing his. Oh, alright, he's onto it. <laughs> and he wasn't expecting to get out of the corner. Alright, same front. Oh no! Okay, DP messed it up. Alright, oh, messed it up. Ooh. Ah, I'm just gonna let it throw me again. Go on, do it again. There it is. Optimal meter build. That round was dead. Oof. Alright, so if I'm actually playing footsies, yeah. you sort of whiff jabs to sort of stop them coming in. Stop yeah. anything silly they're trying to do. Definitely come pokes. Oh wow. Good throw. Ooh. That was a big challenge from uh, Swifty Sal after your MTA. Yeah, I was plus, but apparently not as plus as I thought. Or maybe you're just slow and old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah, jump is are kind of tricky because like yeah, there's a lot of varying advantage. Yeah, right. Oh. Wow, jab after that, huh? Yeah, he challenges a lot, this guy. Yeah, lots of jabs. Alright, I'll do the same thing. Oh, nice. Oh, oh wow. That was yeah, I thought he might. Yeah, he's done it quite a lot. Oh, man. Him and I could not be any more different than we made <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. That was sneaky. <laughs> yeah, you just know the fuse timings and just wait for it, and then yeah, uh, and then you go for like the lead buttons. You gotta mm. you gotta give people chances to react. I, I feel like it's very important to not just do mindless strings all the time. You kind of leave gaps where you're like... No, 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 no. That first bomb combo oh, was just boy. disgusting. Like, what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> Throw it out, pause, and dash. That was horrible. Because, like, uh, he's meant to jump backwards. I was waiting for him to jump back, and uh, he did nothing, so I was like, okay, that's a that's a free 50-50. I just dash, why not? <laughs> 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 it's so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> what? How many times has he done that? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, I will say though, one of the things that I've learned is it works pretty okay against um, fight, but just walking and repeatedly hitting standing minions doesn't work against your buffs, but very low. Mm. It, um, you become very vulnerable to counter hits. Oh. Oh, no, it's like obvious. Right. Predictable. That counts mm. as a perfect, right? Yeah, it's a uh, ghetto perfect. <laughs> yeah, ghetto perfect. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Wow, oh, really? Wow. He doesn't like hanging out in neutral, does he? He just likes getting in. <laughs> You'll have to get used to neutral though with the new Korean. Oh, no, really? Oh, boy. Good throw. Oh, good DP. Nice. There's no follow up. To the beach, we go palm. Oh, this classic! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> Nicely done. To be honest, I would have been disappointed if, just, if that didn't happen uh, during this set at least once. Yeah. <laughs>
Like, the, the reason that one got me is because um, I was delay teching, because I thought they'd like try something like a DP. So I'm like, I was a bit hesitant yeah, of a right. DP again, because he likes to do the minus twos or the pluses DPs and... Yeah, yeah right. That's, that's, that's cute. Let's we'll see if it works again. Yeah. <laughs> have, have you all around, so these great matches. I'll take myself completely off mute, because everyone's laughing at me. I need a bunch of shock, but no one in the stream can hear me. That drunk fighter's interpretation of this match. This is quite a good one. <laughs> Um, yeah, welcome back, Harper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I don't agree, the uh, <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> I'm getting abused. You uh, are. Uh, Such a good fledgling. Oh, this is, no, this is what we love to see. It's like, here's a guy who's been on, like, come out of nowhere pretty recently, yeah. and he's doing so well. This is great. Yeah. It doesn't get better than this. But the, the aggressive place was really cool because like he's, he only walks backwards to fake or walk back. Oh. <laughs> 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 really a no, no, no. Yeah, it's not it's not just aggressive, he's actually making some really smart decisions. Like he's obviously like oh, yeah. clearly a very good player. Um Yeah. No, it's great. Working with the community. Yeah, welcome. Ooh. I'm always happy to see more Korean. Oh! Wow! I've never thought of doing that. <laughs> Maybe this is why. This is why I never got past like 10,000 LP. Oh my. This is a way to get LP oh, for you. Punishment <laughs> there, look at that. It's such oh, a man. shame um, this guy couldn't get his mic working. Maybe next week. Yeah. I'd love Definitely. to know what the story is. Like, I bet he's like some sort of crazy esports player from Shooters or something like that who's been playing this game for like a week. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Yeah. I wonder what the uh, Mujin was all about. Mm. Was a uh, missing foot? <laughs> that, was, that whole thing was nuts. What do you reckon? Oh, nice. How did you feel about that? I, I really like it. Like, um, he uh, he plays a lot of my games where he'll do sort of a scummy tactic, which is I like. You still a turn with like a DP on a minus two, and then he goes from <laughs> that, and then he decides, okay, now next situation of that, I'm gonna know that you're gonna want to beat that DP. So then he starts jabbing, he starts pressuring. Very so nice. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, it's really good to do that. Like he sets his own little mind games where I'm playing against what he wants to do. Rather okay, than letting right. me dictate the pace and just standing there. Like, he wasn't afraid to press buttons or uh, walk forward. And, uh, yeah, messed me up. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was a really good match, really fun to watch as well. So, so thank you so much, Bug. Could we, let's, let's do one more. Oh, uh, have we got time? No, we, we, no, it's, it's, uh, yeah, we got, we got baby we, time. We yeah. got two, two minutes. Two <laughs> minutes. Rough. Cool. Two All minutes. right, we'll close out the lobby then. Yeah. And we'll have a roundup discussion. All right. Yeah. So thank you so much, uh, Bug, for joining us. Uh, it's been a pleasure having you. No um, worries. I, I I feel like I've learned a, a good amount. Um, how would you personally like to wrap up this session that you've had with us, like as yeah. a as a last stitch? Here's the information you want. Yeah. Um. Basically. Best things to do to get better in this game is to pay attention to spacing, and yeah, it's all about spacing. Uh, like anti-airing, that's spacing. Uh, punishing, spacing. Everything to do with this game is spacing. So if you realize your options when you you're playing, you can do a lot better. So lab, yeah, right. lab the situations where you don't know the spacing, and yeah, that's how you yeah, get better. Um, by lab the situation, you mean if you're losing to something over and over again. Jump into training mode, select the character you're losing against, try and recreate that situation where you, it's a button or a string that you keep losing to, and um, figure out the best way for you and your character to punish that. Yeah, if something's annoying, um, that's a sign that something's strong, so you got to figure out what to yeah. do about it. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, and if you're not sure um, what to do or how to set that up, we've got the uh, Learners Lounge and the Discord jump in. Use the app help. And we've got a few mentors in there uh, who we've got Mr. Polly Jukes as well, and you're one as well, Bug. Who will jump in and lend a hand? Yeah, definitely. Anyone wants a hand, just message me or um, give me a ping, and I'll be happy to help you if I can. Yeah, I became a mentor uh, one day before I had to flee my house, so. <laughs> <laughs> but when he's back, Polly will be ready to go. I do, when I get, when I get Wi Fi, I do uh, have a look, so. Mm. And I'm desperate to talk about Street Fighter these days. Don't, don't play. <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank you very much uh, for all of you out there as well who was who are watching. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's been really good having you. You done like, subscribe, all that sort oh, of stuff. I, I was building up to it, Polly. Okay, building sorry. up to it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, for all of you, thank you so much. If you want to see more of this, uh, press the subscribe button or at least follow us on Twitch so you know when we're going out. Uh, subscribe to us. That helps Team WP. Uh, if you want to watch this again or watch any of the previous Team WP uh, LP for you episodes, go to the Team WP uh, YouTube channel. This will be there. Our previous ones will be there. We've also got all our tournaments like the uh, Friday Night Fights, the uh, Fledgling Nights. They're all there as well. Go over to YouTube, subscribe. So get all the latest updates of what we're doing there. Also, check out the Team WP website because there's a calendar out and the post i think about what's happening this year and yeah. that we're starting the friday night competitions again is it this week uh no is it next week it's the 12th oh so yeah that's, that's this, this week. week yeah it's friday it is this friday okay, 8 30 uh melbourne and sydney time yep uh, uh you have to have to come in at eight o'clock to uh, uh register yeah that's right yeah uh so check us out there if you're not a part of the tin wp discord Definitely uh, jump on, check it out. There's, we've got a lot of things going on. Um, if you want to find out more about us, as Polly said, check out the Team WP uh, website and uh, we'll be able to help you out from there. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you, everyone, for listening. It's been good fun. Hope you've all learned something. I definitely have. Uh, peace Bye. out, guys. See you later.